Hello everyone. Welcome back to Arpita's Tech Corner. So today we are going to learn about waterfall chart. Before proceeding with some practical example, let us understand what is the purpose of this waterfall chart. Okay? So this waterfall chart helps to understand the changes from value to value. Also, this change could be positive or negative and displays a running total. So this is some definition. I'm sure you are not able to visualize how this waterfall chart is working. For that, let us import some data for some practical experiment. Before that, I'm going to create one page. Okay, now we are going to import this Superstore sales data. Just go to this get data and this CSV file. So select this CSV file and open. Just load this information. Now this table is ready for your analysis. First, from this visualization pane, just select this waterfall chart. So if you select this waterfall chart, here we have different option to select some columns like category, breakdown, y-axis, etc. Let us select some of the column from this table. So for this category, we are going to select this order date hierarchy. Now in the y-axis area, I am going to select this sales value. Okay, now let us understand the breakdown of these cells. What we are going to select? Just select some category field in the breakdown section. Just make it a little bit bigger so that we can read it properly. Now you can add some more tooltips fields also. Based on your requirement, you can modify different type of option. Now let us understand from this waterfall chart what we are going to explore and what we are going to understand. For example, you can observe here we have this increase, decrease, total and other area. Okay. Now we have data for 2014, 2015, 16 and 17 wise. So from this waterfall chart what we are going to understand? So to understand deeply, let us create one small table side by side. I'm going to select this table view. Okay. Now select this year value, category and this sales value. Now coming back to this waterfall chart. Here we have total sales for this year 2014 we have this sales value now this 2014 sales value has been distributed based on different category first we have this furniture category furniture category for 2014 it has this sales value and 2015 sales value now from this gap we can observe that from 2014 to 2015 there is a increase in the sales value and what is the sales change that is 8.48 percent in the similar way if i go to this technology section here we can find out 2014 whatever the sales value in 2015 the sales value is in in decreasing order that's why it is showing as a decreasing way and it's a red color in the similar way we can observe the office supplies value so like this you can also define the sales value whether it is in increasing order or it is in decreasing order based on this waterfall chart you can explain to your user or you can explain to your project owner so that is the purpose of this waterfall chart and if you want to do some more formatting, just go to this format area and 
you can do some for example you can enable this data label and you can change the data label setting also i hope from this example you are able to understand what is the purpose of this waterfall chart please do more practice so that you can use this waterfall chart in your project you can get this power bi file and the superstore data file in our github location please check the description section if you like this video please like comment and subscribe to my channel and share with your friend thank you thanks for watching